Andy Rubin was just a robot aficionado. You know, he went to Amherst. He was a UMass guy. Uh, and he just had a real passion for robots. And, you know, the whole Android thing was sort of a portmanteau of Andy Rubin and his love for robots. And, you know, the the whole place in Mountain View was like a boneyard of robot pits. There were, you know, all these arms and robot bases and segways and stuff in all various states of assembly, disassembly, recombobulation. Um, we've got a wild time. Uh, and this was what, 10 or 12 years ago? But he actually commissioned me when I was still at Yaskawa to build a couple of systems uh, for him. And the first was, I guess he was doing this one himself, but you know, asking for our support on, was a barista for the Android cafeteria uh, there in Mountain View. And it was a dual armed robot and it had, I mean, high end uh, 3D vision cameras, force torque transducers, uh, you know, sensors on each wrist. He didn't want to take any shortcuts at all. He had a high-end, I don't know, espresso machine or something out of Italy, and he didn't, like, want to bolt it to the table because it wouldn't be like that in an actual place. So that's why we had force torque sensors, <laughs> so you could do the handles without moving the machine. And we are like, I don't know, this, this is probably not going to work. That's um, why you need a dual arm, too, I would assume, because otherwise, yeah. yeah. Just didn't want to you know, it's all, all of this. And at any rate, um, it, it, I, I don't know what ended up happening to that. I do know that I think the only successful part was we wrote an application and in, in what was the early version of the Android ADK so that he could place his order from his, you know, phone uh, and have it find him somewhere in the building. So that was kind of cool. But the second one was was crazy. He, uh, you know, Google would always have a big splash at the Mobile World Congress show, the MWC in Barcelona. And they were getting ready to announce this, you know, sort of new venture hardware thing that they'd done with Samsung, the Galaxy Nexus. Okay? This was the first time this was coming out. And so he calls me up. No lie. It is the day after Thanksgiving. I'm out to dinner with my family, and my phone rings, and I'm like, Andy Rubin, what what does he want? <laughs> and Andy, what's going on? He goes, I got this Mobile World Congress. I got this idea. I need you to help me build it. I'm like, oh no. Um, and it was a robot to use like Swarovski stones to bling the battery case for the Galaxy Nexus. <laughs> no lie. That's wild. And 